Welcome back to another One Piece Five Ways where I show you One Piece, one in five different ways for five different occasions. Today we are talking about the light coloured denim midi skirt, pencil skirt. This is, I'd say this isn't necessarily pencil skirt, this is a midi skirt. This one is from Mango, the one I'm sharing today, and it's from last year. Um, I kind of purposely picked a piece from last year because I just want to encourage you to go into your own wardrobes and see, do you have anything similar from previous seasons? It doesn't have to be this lighter colour, but maybe something, a denim, dark denim, blue denim, or a kind of, casual midi skirt like this um, and I wanted to encourage you to go into your wardrobes and have a look and how you can work these ideas into whatever pieces you already own. And also I just wanted to show that I personally wear all my pieces from previous seasons so I really want to encourage that on my channel and talk about how I do that and how I make things feel fresh for the new season and hopefully this one piece five ways will kind of demonstrate that. So. This mango skirt from last year, but I think any kind of denim longer skirt would work. Um, I think denim because it's more casual and I want to demonstrate ways you can wear it kind of for all different occasions. I think particularly this lighter colour allows you to dress it up a little bit more like something with this blouse from Naked Fashion, which I'll hopefully link below. I'll try and link everything below as well as alternatives for this skirt if this is something you are looking for in your wardrobe, I must say. It has been a really, really good buy. When I got it last year, I wore it a lot and I feel like I will do again this year too. And it will last you many years to come. So let's get on with each outfit. As I say, I will show you different ways to wear this from workwear casual to more dressy. So let's get on to outfit number one. So this for me is a perfect smart casual daytime look. Maybe for if you're going shopping or out for lunch, I think this would be a great one. I love a striped shirt. I'm obsessed with striped shirts at the minute. Um, they're a timeless, timeless piece. I have many renditions of a blue striped shirt because I do get so much wear out of them and they never go out of style. So this one is from Gap. This is maybe three years old now, maybe more actually four or five years old and I wear it every summer. It's a great striped shirt. Again, I'll try and find something similar below, but it's one of those old pieces that I keep digging out and trying to reinvent. So it looks great with the denim midi skirt. Feels quite relaxed, but a shirt kind of strikes that really nice balance between casual and a bit more um, formal and structured at the same time. I've gone for these sandals, my ancient Greek sandals, true to size if you are interested. Um, they've just kind of got, they're like a very pale gold shade. So I feel like they feel a little bit smarter or dressier. They're a great holiday shoe as well. And I paired it with my Anderson belt, which I'm wearing here, which I will have shown probably in my last video, depending on the when these go out. But um, yeah, it's a great belt and looks good over the skirt. This skirt comes with its own belt. Um, came with its own belt, but it's great to mix it up with other belts too. So I pop this belt on with it again I think more of a proper belt as opposed to the denim belt feels a little bit more put together and structured as does this Demelier bag with the plaited um, shoulder strap, it just kind of ties in the browns of the belt and the browns of the sunglasses and the sunglasses have the hint of blue in as well to tie the blue of the shirt together. But it's the accessories in this for me that tie it all together, that give it a little bit of extra something, make it feel a little bit smarter and um, put together. The sunglasses make it feel really cool. These are from Vela, they have a great range of sunglasses and they actually ship really, really fast considering I think they come from Australia, they're an Australian brand, but they arrive really quickly. But anyway, they're such a great um, accessory to add to your classic wardrobe because they just feel really cool with any outfit. Moving on, outfit number two. So this one is more of an evening look. Um, I definitely think you can do a denim skirt in the evening, providing it's not, you know, really, really smart or dressy where you're going, but I actually think it creates a really nice contrast between those evening pieces, but just plays them down a little bit more, makes it feel a little bit cooler, less kind of thought out just by adding the denim in there. So 
I've got this skirt on with this top from Pixie Market. You can get all sorts of versions of these tops, but I do like this kind of one shoulder style. Makes it feel, again, a little bit more dressy, but any kind of tank top, I think, would look really nice with this. What I do suggest, though, is you go for something slightly like a cutout or a lower neck, because I do think a high tank top with this with it being a long pencil skirt, will maybe all feel a little bit too boxy. So just break it up maybe with a lower neckline or, or a neckline that goes across like that. That would work really nicely. Or I think a shirt that's like a little bit undone would look really chic with this too. But I wanted to just show more of a summery evening look um, with this top on here and some strappy heels bit of colour balancing going on with the darker top and darker shoes. I think with lighter shoes it would feel a bit too top heavy with the with the black top. Um, it just balances out really nicely. Um, you can add some great earrings to this. I've gone for some hoops. You could go for a red lipstick or you could go for like kind of even more dressy and add a bit of diamante in there as well. And to finish off, I've thrown in my Bottega clutch bag. Again, the clutch style just feels a little bit more dressy and elevated. And like I say, I love that contrast between something more casual and dressy. And even if you're not wearing or recreating this exact look, I think that's a great takeaway from this video is to try and mix your kind of dressier pieces with more casual ones for evenings out and it looks a lot more effortless. So I'm loving this next look, outfit number three for workwear. Depending on your office or wherever you work, you can get away with this probably some more than others. But I think if you pop a smarter shoe on with the denim skirt, it instantly kind of makes it feel a little bit more pulled together. Um, and I do think because it's like this midi straight style, it does lend itself to workwear as well if you kind of dressed it up and made it a bit smarter with some pieces like the loafers, then you can just go for a plain t-shirt. You could even go for a shirt if you didn't want to wear a blazer. But I just popped the blazer on here. Again, contrasting the more casual denim with a bit of structure just instantly gives it that more workwear feel, a little bit more formal. And I also went for all tonal here. I've mentioned this many times before, but I think wearing head to toe tonal or lighter colored tonals instantly feels smarter than if you were kind of mixing and matching your colors. So going for that head to toe tonal creams and off whites just makes it feel a little bit more workwear appropriate. And I've added this bag on with it just for a bit of contrast. And also I know not everybody has a bag to match every outfit. So you could certainly add something like this big croc bag from Little Lifner in there. So my penultimate outfit, number four, I wanted to do a bit more of a holiday look. So this definitely lends itself well, I'd say more to evenings on holiday. If it's not absolutely scorching hot, um, it'd be really nice to wear a silk blouse with this, silk shirt. You could go for something shorter sleeve, but this particular one is from Asino um, and it's so beautiful. I do have the matching trousers with this. The beauty of a matching set is that you can mix and match. So I went for this with the skirt. It just feels a little bit more kind of resort wear and that silk fabric just again makes it feel a little bit more holiday appropriate, as would a linen shirt too. Then I've gone for my Isabel Morant belt. I think I mentioned that I went for size in this. I've got a medium as opposed to my tan one. And then tied in the belt again, a bit of um, balancing proportions here. The sandwich rule, I've gone for the black belt and then balance that out with the black on the bottom with these ancient Greek sandals. These are exactly the same, well actually these are rubber sold, but they're the same style as the gold ones. These are in black, um, again, really, really comfortable, easy to throw on, they go with absolutely everything and I also think they're really, really flattering on the leg as well because they take your eye right to the uh, like furthest point and because they're so delicate, I just think they're really flattering. But anyway, I wanted to tie the black all in together there with the pencil skirt, but like I said, you could kind of recreate this look with other pieces in your wardrobe, other looser flowy tops and shirts um, would easily create the same look for more of a kind of resort feel to the denim skirt. Finally, I wanted to show you an outfit with the skirt that would be appropriate if it was a bit cooler um, or maybe something a bit more casual. And I've gone here for some trainers and this cardigan. Again, I think the whole tonal look stops it from feeling too casual 
Although I do think like a black sweatshirt would look really nice with this as well, but just the all tonal look kind of pulls it all together, keeps it feeling quite smart, but also with it being casual pieces like a cardigan. I've worn this cardigan as a top. It's an old one from Under the Stories. And my old trainers, which I've worn to death, I really need some new trainers, <laughs> but I've just not found any I want yet. I need some time to kind of scope out some trainers that I want. Um, and there's it's such a minefield out there with trainers. There's so many of them on the market that I always end up feeling a little bit overwhelmed by them. So really need some new trainers. But anyway, that's besides the point. I just wanted to show this more casual look. And I even think you could wear this in cooler seasons with some long boots that maybe go a past the skirt so you can't see any legs. So some longer boots and a chunky jumper and you could definitely wear this in the winter as well and get so much wear out of it and it just makes a change from wearing black in the winter. Um, you just pair it with some darker pieces or some heavier pieces and it instantly takes it to winter because denim can be worn all year round. So I definitely think it's a great one for spring and summer, this piece, um, and I can feel me wearing it all throughout the season but also if you are thinking of investing in this style of skirt um know that you'll be able to wear it into the autumn and winter months as well um just depending on your styling so i hope that's been useful for you as i say the aim of these videos really is to kind of stretch your imagination as to how to maximize your pieces get the most wear out of your pieces and not even necessarily a skirt like this but maybe it'll just kind of spark an idea to go into your wardrobe dig out an old piece that you don't wear as much and think how you could maybe wear it for work for evening for casual and take away some of these tips that i've used for this video so let me know if you enjoyed it as always i usually do these kind of one piece five ways quite regularly so i'm sure there'll be another one coming up soon if there's a particular piece you'd like to see that you know I maybe already own that you've seen in previous videos, do let me know because that's really useful for me to go off. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're, we've way surpassed 400K now, which is crazy. So I'm on a mission to get to that half a million mark. Um, I really appreciate it. If you enjoy my videos and been watching them, if you just hit the subscribe as well so that you know you can kind of see them when they pop up. So thank you so much again. I'll see you in my next one.